Hi, my name is Chien and welcome back to the video tutorial for learning programming language by example. Okay, so today I will start to dissect and I will guide you how to use the update panel with repeater together on a web page. Okay, so now I will go ahead to create a new web page. Name it is update panel with Okay, so I will review some course we already done in some previous day. I will copy the course inside the repeater example. Yeah, I will copy the lead a person. I will copy the code behind. Okay, so now I will run the course for this new work page. Yeah. Okay, so in order to be understand how to load the data into the repeater, you can come back to watching the to watch the video for Adding data into the repeater, it should be the day three. Let me show. Okay, so now I will create a form with some text box and a button mm -hmm. to create new data for the person. Name So for this one, I can reuse the new form inside the grid view example. For more detail, you can come back to what again the video for that might be the time to go with you. You copy the code behind for insert button or for add new button. Sorry, okay. So I will try to run the code. Yeah, okay. So now I will enter the value for name and address take out
it not work okay so after we click to the any button we should refresh the data inside the reader so now i can refresh this test and the data wouldn't be added into the data line. yeah okay so now come back to the code behind we have to refresh the data inside repeater yeah but I only have that into the editor so now after click to add button I turn on to the web page the whole web page we lost and the text box the value in the name address should be blank okay so now we have to use the repeater uh, sorry we update panel we will put the update panel as a repeater inside the update panel Turn the panel to update mode equal constitution. Okay. So now when user click to the button add new, we have right a uh, trigger here. And after that, we have to name Finally. We have to post a. We have to drop and throw a script manager inside the web page before we can use the other panel. It should be inside the form tab and before the other panel. Okay. Oh, you need not refresh this one. The web page should not load anymore. Okay, so I think to the take up here, refresh, we have to put the control inside another edit panel. Let's try this. Okay, 
Yes, it worked perfectly. Okay, so I think that's all for this video tutorial, and I hope it will help you for you. And after this video tutorial, I hope it will help you for you and make you understand how to use the update panel with the repeater. Okay, thank you, and see you in the next video tutorial. Bye.